I'm first just gonna paste it and read it to you and see what you make out of it. But I have a lot of thoughts and feelings around this question myself. But I'm gonna let you first uh, do the talking. So this is from Nicholas. Post rest, I'm always told how lucky I am. Yet often I wish I didn't make it. Why? It's a really tough, tough one. Yep. Right. Yes. It's not an easy answer here. I, I, I'll take a couple of stabs, and then I'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think that um, one of the problems with the first part of the question is being told how lucky you are really invalidates. Yes. The negative side. Yes, exactly. So that it's like, you're not allowed to feel negative because you're lucky. Mm -hmm. And just like we talked about, when you don't experience emotions or try to block the emotional experience of emotions, it just doesn't work that well. Yep. We are who we are. We feel what we feel. Mm -hmm. And to me, the negative side is really the invalidation. So that's that's my first part. Now, my second part about, you know, wish I didn't make it, Mm -hmm. I think means that the emotional invalidation, the blocking of people, people blocking you from experiencing what you're feeling, I think pushes it down. And in a way it sort of festers. I hate to use these words. They're so, um, they're psychologic sounding, but I mean, just when we don't, when we try to push aside thoughts and feelings, but they're authentic to us, yeah. they have a way of returning. And taken to a rep repetitive number of over the course of years, people saying, you're just so lucky you made it. You should always mm -hmm. be happy. Yeah. That I think there can be a tendency to say, you know, I'm exhausted from this invalidation. And some days I'm not even sure it's worth it because I yes. feel so disenfranchised, depersonalized, disengaged from my actual experience because everyone tells me that I, I'm, um, lucky that's my take on that yeah um but it's a very serious question and I, I i i don't know if it can be done justice on a podcast but that's the beginning of where i would approach that what are yeah. your thoughts Yellis? yeah I, I i think personally you hit it for me you know um and i don't know if nicholas meant it in this way of course but what i'm reading and kind of feeling is something that I've felt a lot too. I've been told a lot myself that how lucky I got. And in a way, I got lucky, of course, right? Because it's down to chance that I'm still here. But at the same time, it was th there wasn't any room for all these feelings that I was dealing with. Uh, when you, you tell someone you, you're so lucky, you don't allow room for all this negative or, or, or all these other emotions like sadness, yeah. anger. The range. Yeah. And you it's are... It's just the range of emotion. It doesn't have to be negative. Just the range. Sure. You know, can I be a lucky one day and angry yeah. the next? That seems okay, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. I'm a human. Yeah. And and you... So I look, and most cardiac arrest survivors look very normal from the outside, right? You wouldn't say that I lived with an ICD or that I had a cardiac arrest, that I died. Uh, and this is the frustrating part that I've heard a lot of people tell me, like, oh, but you look so normal, which results which they take as like oh but you must be fine but you know i deal with all the medication and the side effects of that uh you know the icd and some fears around getting shocked i already got shocked before and just the lifestyle restrictions and there's a bunch of things life is a little bit less carefree for me than it used to be mm -hmm. and maybe nicholas is experiencing something similar and when you get told then each time you're lucky or you look normal, then people are just not understanding what you're experiencing actually really because it's more than just that. Yeah, and I think being misunderstood is psychologically toxic. Yes. Yeah. I think when we, yeah. when our emotional experiences are invalidated or just not taken, someone doesn't take the time to understand them, it can feel pretty lonely. Yes, And I think that's another component of this is like, well, as much as everybody who, in your life who loves you, it'd be easy to say they don't understand. It'd be easy to feel lonely. It'd be easy to feel singled out. And so one of the things we work on with this is really practicing telling the people in your life 
the rest of the story. It's scary for the listener. It's scary that sometimes we don't understand why cardiac arrest happened. It's scary for people to realize, wow, I mean, this could have happened to me. And sometimes the people saying, oh, you're so lucky, are people managing their own reaction, their own perceptive threat. True. I I don't think that's going on for everyone, but, but I do think that it can result in a lonely experience for for heart patients particularly young ones i mean we're particularly noting that i mean you're a young guy you know all of our research over 30 years has consistently shown that people less than 50 have more challenges than everyone else and it's because the the hit on the lifestyle the hit across the lifespan um the the years left to live uh, disease-free, uh, trouble-free, however you want to say it, you sort of hit it at. They're more profound, and they're more the 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 smart bomb of cardiac arrest has much more fallout, much more concentric effects, and um, so so I think all of that. But it just gets at the general idea, and I mean a major theme of this of everything that you and this group of folks do is you're validating each other's experience being together you know not that you need a bunch of hand holding but you but but there is a a degree of mutuality universality mutual respect for for maybe some of the things that are unsaid that are part of the experience here so so i think this is a really important question i think it's brave as i mentioned earlier i think it's brave for nicholas to say it just the way he did i think it's brave for you to answer it because again the list some other listener might go you're just lucky you're not being grateful it's like yeah. well, but but i am being grateful yeah i'm just being authentic to the exactly. range of experiences that i had 